nothing like biting into a big, thick torta. Layers of salty, sweet, spicy, and sour flavors, all piled high and wrapped in a fluffy bolillo. In Mexico City, tortas are everywhere. They're portable, they're satisfying, and they're really delicious. But there was one torta that was haunting my dreams and my Instagram feed. It looked like nothing I'd ever seen before. And it came from this place, El Trompo Imperial. The owner, a tatted up former rock band manager named Carlos, has crafted a creative menu inspired by family recipes, nostalgic childhood snacks, and well, you know, the munchies. <laughs> he promised me a feast. But this visit was so much more. I fell in love with the restaurant, the man, and his torta. In this episode, we're gonna break down the artistry of each ingredient, and I'll show you how to recreate it all in your home kitchen. This torta is not for the faint of heart, or vegetarians either, sorry. But if you're ready, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to the Tortaco. Carlos. Hey. ¿Cómo estás? Welcome. ¿Cómo estás, loco? Muy bien. Muy Bienvenido. Bien, Tengo mucho hambre. No, pues ya estábamos aquí esperándolos, ya listos. Pero mira, antes que nada, ah, eso es para ti, güey. Aquí ah, los sí, taqueros, sí. cuando traen esto, <risa> ya está certificado como taquero, güey. Gracias. Ajá. Y pues nada, pues aquí vamos a comer. Vente. Vamos. Ah. Sí. Esta es la taco torta. Es una baguetina, Ajá. baguetina estilo francesa. Que bolillo, la hacemos, ¿no? Ajá, como un bolillo, como un virote, pero es una baguette ah. con unas eh, tostadas que son volcanes. No son, ah. no son tortillas como guangas, sí, guanga, sí. sino quería que fuera crujiente, ¿no? Esta madre. Y ya al ponerle el pastor negro, ¿no? Eh, eh, adentro piña, ¿no? Y esto lleva una costra de queso abajo, chicharrón de queso que se hace como dorado, sí, tostado. Sí. Y va glaciada con la salsa de tres chicharrones, cuatro. Oh. Come in, come in, come Gracias. in. Gracias. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Oh, this is for you. Wow, okay. I'll be Una. here for a little while. No, entonces para mí la taco torta, pues a que haya nacido aquí es como allá, ¿no? Right. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. El principio es así, ¿no? Poquito, pero luego ya mm. se va a llegando y vámonos, ¿no? This is everything I want in life. La salsa es una locura, güey. <laughs> in ¿no? one plate. Oh, my God. It's so good. Mm. Una fiesta de sabores, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Fiesta de sabores. Sabores y texturas. Sí, texturas, es todo, ¿no? Como mm -hmm. la pan. And after that bite, I knew Carlos was a man I had to marry. I'm ready to make a tortaco. My Mexico City husband was kind enough to share with me all of his secrets for the recipes in this amazing tortaco. I faithfully executed it one time and realized that it was a lot. So what I did the second time around is try to pare it back and make it a lot more home cook friendly. And so this version, you'll get all of the flavors that you got in the tortaco, but it's not gonna take quite as long but it's still gonna take a long time. Carlos has a plethora of meats to choose from at El Trompo, but my favorites were suadero and tripas. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué tienes aquí? Aquí tengo una tripa, una tripa como marinada en, como en este chorizo que es ahumado. Ah, okay. Yo ahumo mi chorizo y esto hace que esa grasa, ¿no? Agarre un sabor ahumado con el suadero, con la tripa. Este, casi todo lo bañamos aquí, güey. Nos bañamos con chicharrón. Nos glaseamos con chicharrón porque es lo más chilango para mí, güey. Time to cook the meats. The first thing we're gonna do is make the suadero. I'm gonna heat up my cast iron pot until it gets really, really nice and hot and then we'll brown the meat. Heat the lard in a large heavy pot over medium high and cook suadero until browned on all sides, about 10 to 12 minutes. Add one half cup of water, salt, spring onion, garlic, jalapeno, orange, oregano, and thyme. Bring to a boil, cover, and place in the oven and roast until the meat is very tender and shreds easily, with little resistance, about two and a half to three hours. 
We're making tripas, which I absolutely adore. I realize this is not for everybody. You're either going to love it, hate it, probably make it or not make it, up to you. I'm gonna show you how. Place tripas, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, thyme, and three cups of water in a large, heavy pot. Cover, bring to a boil, and reduce to low. An hour and a half later, Transfer tripas and pan juices to a large skillet, preferably non-stick, and cook over high until the liquid evaporates and the tripas begin to fry in their rendered fat. Fry, stirring occasionally and pressing on the beef with a spoon to break them up until brown and just beginning to crisp, five to 10 minutes. Carlos has no less than four salsas on the table for every service, but there were two salsas that I could not stop eating, the caramelized onion and the salsa de chicharrones. Let's check them out. Chicharrón está es muy famoso. Es. Esta es una joya, es una tres chicharrones norteño seco y prensado que lleva las gorditas. Esta de chicharrón es como el corazón del negocio, es la que se usa para bañar toda, o sea, la mayoría de las cosas. Muy oh, amigable. Qué rico. Está bien rica, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí es como un sabor muy tatemadón, ¿no? Chicharrón, tomate. Charrón, cebolla. tomate, cebolla. Este, luego pasamos a la de cebolla caramelizada con chile mm. serrano. El chile serrano es el clásico chile mexicano, sí. ya sabes, ese. Con cebolla y nada más carameliza, güey, ¿no? Con, oh. con el fuego y eso. Y mm. son esos dos elementos, güey. La verdad es que esa es como de las también preferidas porque es dulce. Y vienen muchos extranjeros aquí también a comer y no pueden comer la de habanero, ¿no? Se mueren. Mm. Sí. Uh, la cebolla. Y los oranos están perfectos. Como de esos guisos de abuela, ¿no? Que... Sí, 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 sí. Now, the caramelized onion and the salsa de chicharrón. The first one we're gonna make is the caramelized onion and serrano salsa. It's really simple, but the flavors were incredible. And it's unlike any other salsa I've ever eaten. Rick's tips for not crying over onions. Put them in the refrigerator, keep them chilled. That actually renders the gas inert and then you won't cry. Look, no tears. But don't stick your face by the cutting board or you will cry. Cook onion, garlic, serranos, and salt, stirring occasionally until the onion is deep golden brown and very soft. These look incredible. You can smell the sweetness of the caramelized onion. Transfer to a blender with one cup of water and blend on low speed until the mixture is pourable but not completely smooth. Thin with water if necessary. Now we're gonna work on the salsa de chicharrón. This is another one of Carlos's amazing salsas that sort of blew my mind, mainly because it has not one, not two, but yes, three different types of chicharrones. Bring two cups of water, tomato, and chiles de arbol to a boil in a large pot over high heat. Cover and reduce to a low boil and cook until the skin starts to peel away from the tomatoes, about 15 minutes. So this is a salsa de chicharrón three ways. Everybody loves a three way. These are the most typical kind of chicharrones you'll find pretty much across the country and also in the United States. This is probably what you'll find in a bag in the chip section. This is chicharrón norteño. It's basically like a lardon. And this is chicharrón prensado. So basically at the end of the cooking process for the chicharrones, they gather up all the little bits and pieces of pork at the bottom of the, the fat, and then they press them together and they make this amazing prensado. If you can't find these two types of chicharrones, you can always fry up a little bit of bacon, about four ounces, and crumble that into your salsa. Working in batches if necessary, transfer tomato mixture, garlic, oregano, salt, cumin, peppercorn, and cooking liquid to the jar of a blender and carefully puree until completely smooth. Wipe out the pot, heat the lard over high heat until you see little wisps of smoke rising over the lard. Carefully pour the salsa into the hot oil. The liquid will bubble violently then quickly subside. Stir and bring to a boil. Add the chicharrones and stir to combine. Continue cooking until the salsa has thickened slightly and the chicharrones are tender about 10 minutes. 
volcán es put the taco in tortaco. Aquí el volcán es una tortilla, tú sabes, con carne gratinada, güey. Uh -huh. Eso haces un volcán con una corteza dura. Uh -huh. Entonces es una tostadita que dejas que dejábamos ahí de que en el asador y se te olvidaba y ya luego se hacía tostadita. ¿Y qué hacemos? Ponle carnita. Así tú, o sea, todo lo utilizamos, ¿no? Basically, this is a type of tostada. What we're going to do is we're going to place these in the oven and they're going to dehydrate and then slowly toast. And what ends up happening is they sort of pucker up and the, the edges will get really nice and wavy. And depending on what part of the country you're in, in the south where there are volcanoes, it looks like a volcano, hence the name Volcán. In the north, where there are vampire bats, the edges look like bat wings, and so they're called vampiros. The costra, a crunchy cheese chicharrón, cooks on the flat top, soaking up all of those incredible, meaty, delicious flavors. Queso es, este, el queso para mí también es muy, muy importante como en una torta, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Es una mezcla de tres quesos. Es una mezcla de Monterrey Jack, de Gouda, y es un tercer queso que yo le echo, un cheddar amarillo. Entonces hago una mezcla de tres para hacer como una costra que sea pues, sí, este, crujiente, pero pues esa es mi, mi onda. Pero la puedes hacer con cualquier queso que sea grasosito. Sí, sí, sí. Combine Gouda, queso chihuahua, and quesillo in a large bowl. Toss to combine. It's raining queso. Hallelujah. Heat a large non-stick skillet over medium and add one half a cup of the cheese mixture into the center of the skillet and arrange in a wide mound. So you want to let this melt. You'll see it get really lacy and kind of make a little cheese pancake. It's going to take about four minutes on medium. And then once it's really deep golden brown around the edges and just beginning to brown in the center, it's done. The beans are extremely important to engineering this tortaco. They're the glue that hold everything together. I made these refry beans yesterday, and as you can see, they're super, super thick. So I'm gonna show you my way for reheating them. I'm just gonna throw them into a skillet, and then add a little bit of water between a quarter and a half cup. Give this a stir, we'll bring it to a boil, and they will thin out and then thicken up as they sit. Almost there. All right, we're gonna chop up the tripas, chop up the suadero, and all the vegetables. Creo que esta es la torta más increíble en, en todo el México. Ole. Es, sí, es un nivel. Pues, Oye, no, ¿cómo crees que tú me lo digas para mí? Wow. Now, finally, after hours of cooking, let's grab a bolillo and put it all together. The way that I like to layer any sandwich is I like things to stick together. The worst thing to me is when a torta, sandwich, hamburger, you take a bite and everything shoots out the back. So we are going to start with frijoles and they're gonna hold on to the meat. Now the costra. It's like a crown, only there's more. Tu volcanes. I think my husband would be very proud of me right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I am gonna use a fork and a knife because there's no way that I'm picking this up and shoving that in my mouth. I don't even really know how I'm gonna cut into this, but here we go. Listen to the crunch, the volcanes. are still super crunchy. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll pick up this little piece here. That's easier. Uno, dos, tres. Mm. There are so many things happening. It's actually taking me back to that time at Trompa Imperial. This is insane. Carlos, you are a genius. This is legitimately the best torta I have ever had. Certainly the best one that I've ever made. I love this so much. You have to make this. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it is so completely worth it. Your friends and family are going to absolutely love you. I'm about to go into a food coma, so I'm gonna keep eating. But if you like the series, make sure that you watch us on the next episode of Prevalo. Stop. No. ¿Qué? No, 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 ¿Qué? no, no. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Viene ¿Qué? el arma letal. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Has probado los Twinkies capeados? No. Pero 
con queso, una base de tres quesos. Oh, y luego para no ya, ya, ponerle no. una cama no, de helado no, 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 no. con chochitos Ay. de colores. Holy shit. Ahora sí, mi querido Rey. Oh, wow. Ricardo. A ver si sí, sí, Ricardo. Wow. Salud. Salud. Oh my god. So <laughs> How do you do this? I don't know, the munchies. <laughs> <laughs>